God is not reacting to what the devil's doing. The devil's reacting to what God is doing. When you stomp your foot down, dust comes up. God has brought his foot down through his ambassadors. How many of you are ambassadors for the Lord? He's brought his foot down and stirring up the dust of false gods. And so we are the reason why that there is disturbance in the world. Yes. <laughs> because we're bringing a kingdom. Praise God. Yes. And other kingdoms don't like it. But i got news for you today. I know you know this, but you need to hear it again. The king is on the throne. Yes, amen. amen. He's not walking a rut around the throne worrying about what's going on. He says, I've already made it to where you win. And so this is why, this is really the focal point of what I want to share in just a few moments with you. These are brief sessions, but they're impactful. Psalm 1 and 26, I love this. Verse 5 and 6 says, they that sow. What are we sowing? We're not sowing fully developed fruit. We're sowing seeds. They that sow in seeds in tears. In tears. What are the tears representing? Change. Come on, amen. Shall reap in manifestation. Not tears of sorrow. If you want to write this in your notes, tears of expectancy. You're the only one that sees it. He that goes forth, how? Weeping or watering with expectation shall come rejoicing with reaping. He was speaking also of Israel. Israel had known, as you said, much seeming defeat, much outcast, much no longer having their own city, and no longer appearing like they had any place on the earth that they could call themselves their own. But they were weeping while they were sown. Vision never quits in time of trouble, but it actually innovates an answer. Amen. So what's going on in the world, I'm telling you, it's not time for visionaries to leave the planet. No. Right. Come on, amen. Come on. amen. It's time for visionaries to activate. Yes. Amen. Yes. Your greatest, oh, I feel this today, your greatest vision is about to come through you right now. Yes. The greatest innovation the world is waiting for. Yeah. Amen. In fact, it says all creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. That they may all be one. How? As thou, Father, art in me. How are we going to be one? As thou, Father, art in me. That's not a casual, a casual association. That's intimate. Yes. And I in thee, that they may be one in us. 